everyone. I'm going to show you how to solve for theta when we're solving for something that would not show up on the unit circle. So one of the problems I assigned from 12D, number 2A, was the sine of theta is equal to 0.82, and we're looking for values of theta between 0 and 2 pi. So the first thing that we would want to do is we want to take the inverse sine of both sides. When we take the inverse sine of both sides, we get theta on the left, and we get inverse sine of 0.82. We'll put that in the calculator, make sure you're in radians. So we're going to do second sine 0.82, and we get a value of 0.96. Now, the trouble is, where it gets a little tricky, is on the unit circle, there are two quadrants where the sign is positive, and we have to take that into consideration. So in the first quadrant, everything is positive. In the second quadrant, only the sign is positive. Third quadrant, tangent is positive only. And in the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. So we know we're looking at the two quadrants where the sign is positive. So that would be the first and the second quadrant. So we know we're going to have two solutions. Now, the reference angle for both of these is 0.96. All right, so the, the first solution is pretty easy. It's just going to be 0.96. But the one that is a little trickier is the one that goes from x, the positive x part of the axis, to here. All right, now, all the way over right to here, this is pi. That's approximately 3.14. So we're not quite going all the way to 3.14. We're going to have to subtract out this reference angle of 0.96. So that green angle, all right, we would have to do pi minus 0.96. And we get 2.18. So the other solution here is 2.18. So we have 0.96 and 2.18. Now let's look at 2e on that worksheet. And this time the sine of theta is equal to negative 0.23. We're still looking between 0 and 2 pi, but we have a negative value. All right, so we're going to take the inverse sine of both sides. When we do that, on the left side we get just theta, and on the right side we get the inverse sine of negative 0.23. Put that in the calculator and we get a value of negative 0.23. Now we have to look and see in what quadrants is the sign negative. So again, in the first quadrant, everything is positive. In the second quadrant, only the sign is positive. Third quadrant, tangent only is positive. And the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. So we are going to be eliminating the first and second quadrant, and we know that our angles are going to be in the third quadrant, and they're going to be in the fourth quadrant. So I'm going to be looking at this green angle that goes to here, and I'm going to be looking at the blue angle that goes pretty much all the way around right to here. And we said that our reference angle is 0.23. We solved for 0.23. So We've got a little piece here, 0.23, and a little piece here, 0.23. Remember, halfway around is pi. That's approximately 3.14. And all the way around is 2 pi, which is approximately 6.28. All right, so let's talk about the green angle first. We're going to go all the way to pi, and then we're going to add this 0.23 piece. So to find the green angle, we have to do pi plus 0.23. And that gives us 3.37. Now to find the blue angle, we're going to go not quite all the way until 2 pi. So we're going all the way, almost. But then we have to subtract out that 0.23. So for the blue angle, we'll do that over here. The blue angle is going to be 2 pi minus 0.23. We have to subtract that piece out. 
and we get 6.05. So the solutions for number 2E are 3.37 and 6.05. Hope that helps. Have a great day.